Going beyond simple portal filtering. In this video, we're going to show you some advanced portal filtering techniques that will give you some enormous punch to your solutions. While they are advanced techniques, they are not technically difficult to implement. While these techniques are better suited for large data sets, they work well across the board and give users more choices in the way they search for matching records. We're going to use our people table since that is one that is generally going to have a fairly large number of records. The first step is to add a global field called G people index. Then we add a calculated field to the people table to extract the index letter, the first letter of the person's last name. Then we add a radio button value list to G people index, which uses the values from the field people index. The reason we are using the index letters from the people table is to ensure that the only options the user sees are ones that give results. In other words, we don't want the user to be able to select a letter X, for example, if there are no names that begin with that letter. Finally, we create the relationship so that when the user clicks on an index letter, it displays all people whose last name begins with that letter. No index letter is currently selected, so we see no values in the portal. Let's select A, and now you see all the people whose last name begins with A, B, etc. Now within this set, we can still filter down by typing a couple of letters, to find the one we want. And when we click on the, a different index letter, it not only selects that letter, but it clears the filter. But what if we want to be able to see all records until we select a letter and then just see those records? It's actually very easy. And since I do this all the time, I created a custom function. The custom function says that if there is a value selected, use that value Otherwise, use all the values from the value list itself. Now we need to create a calculation using the custom function. Then we change the relationship for the portal from this to this. With no index letter selected, we see all of the people alphabetically sorted. And then when we click on an index letter, we see just the people for that index letter. But how do we deselect the letter to get back to all? Now, people, not a lot of people know that you can deselect a radio button by shift clicking on it, and that will immediately display all records. But we've got to take into account that most users won't know this. What we've done here is we've added another field called flag people, which is this field here, and we have formatted it as a radio button with the value of all. We've then set a script trigger so that when a selection is made in the index field, it clears this field. And when a selection is made here, it clears the other field. So let's see that in action. 